Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspear. It's been a little while, been a bit busy recently, so we got another Evolve video here for you all today, actually using the new Balanced Wraith. Balanced, they say it is. They say the Wraith is balanced now, so Evolve recently had its first major balance patch on PC. This balance patch is coming out to Xbox and PS4 on the 31st of March, with all the new hunters and monsters that are coming out for Tier 4 as well. Hype, hype, hype. Really looking forward to them. I cannot wait to be playing all those new hunters. Definitely going to be getting them. Definitely going to be getting the season pass as long as I don't get the option to upgrade to the Monster Race Edition before those characters come out because I still haven't offered that option upgrading from the base game to the Monster Race Edition which I would love to have so that I can make sure and secure my, my tier 5 hunters and monsters first as well. But yeah, the new balance patch is out, so a lot of the characters that were being played and evolved took a massive hit, particularly on the hunter side, and mostly just the wraith receiving heavy nerfs on the, the monster side of things, which was pretty much required to stop people crying a lot about the wraith. In my opinion, the wraith was never challenging to play against, just sometimes boring to play against because it would just run the whole game. So it's pretty much a case of sit at the power really instead of chasing this thing around all the time. Maybe look for a little bit of wildlife and buff control as the hunter team. But now the wraith has a lot more opportunities to fight I think inside the domes. It's going to possibly get caught a lot more, although it still can pull off the, the double dash warp blast out of domes if it reacts just at the right time as well to trappers being on your position. It's definitely not been tweaked to basically prevent that. I thought a more a more valid tweak to the Wraith would be to add a delay in between its sort of dash abilities, much like the Goliath has to wait between each leaps because it has to land on the ground before it can leap again. But the Wraith doesn't have that so it can still sort of pull off those really quick spam spacebar to dodge domes. And it's received some nerfs as well to like the cooldown on decoy and the reduction on supernova has been pretty big so it doesn't last as long anymore at all. So that's pretty much led me to really stop using supernova and actually I've been using a lot of wraith again recently because I kind of want wraith to be my, my main monster. I kind of wanted that all along but I never really played it because I felt that people didn't really enjoy games against it, even although I, I would always play a little bit more aggressively than your, your just run the whole game and fight at the end stage 3 wraith sort of games. I still thought people were like, oh god, not another wraith game, and it was not as fun as other monsters to play against. Right now I think Kraken's going to be the main one that most people are going to be using because it is really definitely always has been one of the strongest monsters in the game and because of the wraith nerfs i think that's going to be a, a popular one for pubs kraken can easily win those pub games now much like it could before some changes to it's like flying when it gets hit by trank darts and harpoons and things like that in the balance patch uh, i haven't actually experimented with them much myself so definitely going to be checking them out as well at some point over the next week also some nerfs to actually to the Kraken's Vortex which was interesting it got its knockback reduced a little bit and I believe its cooldown increased so Kraken took a little hit. Goliath is as normal uh, no bug fixes in this patch unfortunately we're hoping to see some bug fixes in the 31st update there is actually a lot of bugs in Evolve unfortunately classic CryEngine bringing all the bugs don't know how much of that fault is on CryEngine to be honest but uh, there are actually a lot of bugs in Evolve, which is unfortunate. Like, you wouldn't notice them in your first few weeks of playing the game. Maybe you'd notice some of the more serious ones where oh, a random Ebon Star soldier still seems to be spawning when someone leaves the game and you join in his slot. You always get to spawn as an Ebon Star soldier instead of the class, so you might be missing out on some heals or missing out on some domes because you're now an Ebon Star soldier, uh, which they claim to have fixed. They patched like four bugs or something in the first little PC patch 1.1, which was one of those bugs was meant to be fixed, but it didn't actually fix them so they're having a little bit of trouble it seems fixing their bugs but content is good I think so it's still lots of fun and the bugs aren't having a massive impact on the game not really any gameplay breaking bugs occasionally you will get hit by a rock throw at full health and it will kill you in one shot which is definitely not supposed to happen and that's probably the most uh, game breaking which at a competitive level if that happens to you in a game then that is going to really suck and really there's nothing we as a community can do about that right now so we just got to play it as it is and deal with these sorts of things so I'm really really hoping for some big bug fix changes in the coming DLC patch that should be out on the 31st they haven't actually said anything yet about bug fixes I think a couple of things maybe mentioned about the Kraken's traversal glitch how it uses it twice instead of once when you spam it in the air uh, that's an annoying bug and I think they were also talking about some extra balance tweaks that would be coming in the 31st update in PC as well such as the sneak pounce nerf and the dome 
trigger sound effect should be getting removed from the game. They were talking about removing that. I don't know if it's they've confirmed that they want to remove it yet. It sounds like they still want to remove it, but they haven't really like officially confirmed that it will be coming in a patch yet. So hopefully we'll see that. I don't know. I think it'd be an interesting as well. More domes equals more fights equals more fun in my opinion. Especially on the hunter side of things. <laughs> so yeah, overall I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing Evolve, especially next week when the new hunters come out. It's going to be absolutely awesome playing those guys. Loving how they all look so far. I think the new medic playstyle looks insane. It's basically a medic who gets in the face of the monster, dealing heavy damage to the monster and constantly spamming heal bursts in a large radius to his teammates. So it's, it's going to be a really fun uh, playstyle. Definitely want Hank on your team, I would say, for, for that sort of thing. Keep your medic alive. The medic never really wants to be in the face of the monster so that one's definitely going to be really fun to play and also we've got Sunny coming out which was something I predicted to come out when you first saw the concept art post in the forums and heard about this Sunny character that was supposedly Cabot's daughter. Apparently the Sunny coming out isn't actually Cabot's daughter it's just a reused name and sort of theme as well for the character but you always knew she was going to be a support just from the colour scheme that you saw of her in the concept art and she's got some cool little shield drone contraption and some awesome jetpack boosts. Never going to miss a dome on the monster ever again with Sunny on your team just boosting that trapper forwards with the extra four dashes. It's absolutely crazy. It's going to be awesome for catching monsters. So definitely looking forward to playing those two characters the most out of all the new ones. And the behemoth is also coming out. So that'll be the new fourth monster to the game. Hopefully we'll get to see a lot of him as well in pubs. He does look a little bit weak from what I've seen in the stream so far. He takes a lot of damage really quickly, but he does have massive damage himself. Got the strongest melee attack out of all the monsters in the game so far. So I think he's going to be really punishing for teams which aren't super coordinated. And like, if he ever does manage to land one of his big combo ability, combo things, then he is going to absolutely destroy teams. So I think just need to get him in the right hands of players to be able to see some really sick gameplay with the behemoth as well. But yeah, Evolve is still going great guys, I've been playing it all last month, still playing it pretty much every day because it's definitely my main game. Been checking out a little bit of City Skylines on the side, everyone's been playing that as well it seems, no matter what your your favourite genre of games are, that's a, that's a pretty fun game to play as well, just building cities for a bit of casual fun. Um, but yeah, we're, we're working on our team still for Evolve so... Well, we're an FPS clan, so we our main issue is like we don't have monster players. I mean, we play monster, but no one actually plays it serious enough to go to a competitive level as a monster player. So we all want to be playing the hunter side of things, and we usually get people to play monster for us who then say, okay, you know what, I would actually rather be playing hunter for your team. So yeah, we're, we're having issues getting monsters together for usually for every single tournament that we play. So any beast monsters out there, please get in touch with us. We've got like at least three, possibly a fourth team that we could probably get together eventually, maybe in like another few weeks or a month or so, because we are recruiting just members for Evolve, like anyone interested in playing Evolve in a sort of competitive pub, even like casual environment as well, you can come join us. So we could potentially have four teams in the long run, but looking to set up two solid ones and maybe three in the foreseeable future just now so we need monsters for those teams and that is an issue for us so we're, we're working really hard to get those monsters together I mean we've played every single ESL Go 4 Cup so far been pretty rough experiences in them to be honest it's a lot of luck in those tournaments because of the whole tie break system even if you win all your matches chances are you can still lose just because it goes to tiebreaker and they pick your your weakest side to play against and win like we've always been on sort of the wrong side of the bracket in the past few tournaments which sucks for us but we're gonna keep at it anyway and keep trying try and get both our sides super strong so that doesn't ever happen to us which is what the team is that's winning all the tournaments right now they have two really strong sides and that's all we need like we are a good hunter team we just need to get it on both sides consistently um, and once we get that it should be good so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay there in the background as well it's a bit of Sky Wraith gameplay Wraith is balanced now they say eh? <laughs> so it's just basically not really balanced it's just a lot stronger if you play it in a different way than what everyone else had been playing it before the patch so using the abduction warp blast combo here um, basically provides massive burst damage from the Wraith that a hunter has a really hard time avoiding making Hank very valuable against the Wraith obviously because one shield can block that big burst of damage that the Wraith does have yeah still lots of fun to play the Wraith and as you can see still pretty strong indeed thanks very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one bye bye